Good morning from the Marfa Lights Viewing Station. Station, just about eight miles outside of uh, Marfa. Nick possibly saw the lights last night. I was seeing sheep jump over the moon. Uh, <laughs> Uh, today is going to be kind of a driving day. I'm not sure how exciting it's going to be. But buckle your seatbelts because I'm going to try and make it super exciting. And uh, it is Christmas Eve today. Merry Christmas. So just uh, several miles outside of town, we have this uh, radar system. Uh, this is also on Roadside America, and they got a big old, I don't know, thing to jiggy there too. But you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it is tied with some kind of cable to the ground all the way up there. And uh, Nick, actually, you, you, you probably know more about this than any, any of us. So it's basically a tethered radar. So if you see the dish down there, um, it's kind of like that, except airborne. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that's a good bit of information. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, being that it's uh, Christmas Eve and girls love to go shopping, I figured <laughs> I would take uh, small town Claire to the Prada store and get her a pair of shoes. Let's uh, go up to the front door and and uh, see what uh, see what we can find in there. After you, Claire. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, doesn't open, does it? No. That's right. Here we are at uh, Prada Marfa. Looks like there is a little camera right there looking at us. Um, this is a. Uh, I stopped here before <laughs> a long time ago, but basically this is an art exhibit and uh, established 2005. Here's the artist, um, and uh, yeah. Kind of bizarre, but what else do you do in the middle of nowhere? You put art on the side of the road for people like uh, me and Nick and uh, small town Claire to appreciate. So just like uh, the Target Marathon, um, I would totally do some boondocking right here. Um, this is nice level ground. It's all fenced off, middle of nowhere. You know the motto: if no one, if, you're in the, if no one's around, nobody's around to care. So. If you do swing by and it's late, I would say feel free to park your ass here for the night. If not, across the street is a good spot as well. Clarodactyl just made a discovery. You want to share with us what your discovery is? What discovery? That the park's closed tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, Carlsbad Cavern's closed tomorrow because it's Christmas. Yeah. So I just had uh, Claire check out a book out of the uh, library. It is the New Mexico uh, Hot Springs uh, book. So today is um, Christmas Eve. <laughs> We're headed towards Guadalupe or Guadalupe uh, National Park, and uh, we're gonna get all the way up there. And then tomorrow, we're gonna wake up and not really have anything to do as of this current moment. So we're gonna look for uh, some alternatives, uh, hopefully something in the area. All right, we got some more javelinas here crossing the road. It's like a little family. It looks like their furs kind of spike up when they either get scared or. Cats. Or when they run. <laughs> but I kind of wish I had a 22, because if I did, I could have shot one and had Havelina tacos for dinner. You're being good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So on the way to the Carlsbad Caverns, there is the Guadalupe uh, Mountains National Park. Yeah, I got some more uh, um, postcards. 
I will announce a giveaway in a future video because I just did one two days ago or something. So look out for that one and make sure to hit the notifications so you can watch the video when it comes out if you want to enter to win. It'll be another comment thing, but not on this one, in a future one. All right, exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. We just saw some like big old like rams over here. I don't know if they're like mountain goats or what, but look at how cool it is. There they go. A big old family. That is pretty cool. Let's see. Let's try and count. Three right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, up in the little canyon thing there? Yeah, I think I counted 18. That is pretty awesome. This is not your everyday sight. I feel like we've seen a bunch of nature in the past couple of days. Really cool. Probably like huge right there. Yeah, he's, well... Probably the... Oh, look at him jump. Look at him jump. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, little babies are so cute. Yeah. Uh, these, um, I don't know about these, but I was watching a video the other day on some sheep, like, ramming humans. <laughs> I would not want to be rammed by one of these things. Um, those things got some lethal horns on there. Man, they could knock you out for sure. That one just looks oh, whoa, there they go. Now they're running across the street. We got the cars. Hopefully nobody hits them. Oh, now they're kind of herded the other way. Yeah. These two are just, like, stuck. They're yeah. <laughs> Very cool. We're probably not supposed to stop in the middle of the road, but, you know, Merry Christmas. <laughs> said what we were doing with the plant the plans changed a little bit so um, we passed over uh, Guadalupe um, State Park, uh, National Park and we came over here to the Carlsbad and we just made it um, we got here a little bit too late to do the natural entrance so we took the elevator down and we are walking around what is called the big room and the reason why my voice is so soft is because your voice can carry for a quarter mile down here. So just to be respectful to the other people down here, um, it is a little bit on the quiet side. Plus, there's no wind, there's no noise, except for water dripping, and of course, people walking around and stuff. So I don't really need to like talk very loudly. But um, yeah, this is a pretty impressive place, even being here one other time. But this time, I have a much, much better camera to uh, capture it for you guys. Mm -hmm. 